Hi everyone, welcome back with a lot of requests from my viewers that I post some videos on Montessori math activities for toddlers. So I've put together Montessori inspired DIY math activities for toddlers which are in two parts. This will also include physical activities for toddlers. In this part one, I will share with you shapes, symbols, comparing sizes and color matching activities. Please visit my blog where you'll find step-by-step -step information on how to put together these activities. You will find the link to the blog here and in the description box below. Try and use practical life objects such as clothes pins, pebbles, dry beans and twigs as this gives the child experience in handling objects with care so that the child is focused on his or hers fine motor skills which are necessary for later math work. In this part 1, I am sharing with you some of the basics such as how we use math in our everyday life and how to gradually build child's understanding of shapes, symbols, colors, vocabulary and associating them with quantity. Montessori activities are done in sequence. To know more about these activities and other bucket full of ideas, please visit my blog to download my workshop. Montessori inspired math activities for toddlers. Come, let's get started. Let us begin with part one activities. Comparing sizes and introducing new vocabulary. Introducing math with everyday items from our environment. For example, I'm using fruits. An apple, orange and a grape. Here I am comparing the size of the fruits. Apple is small, orange is smaller, grape is smallest. So small, smaller, smallest. Thin, thinner, thinnest. Thick, thicker, thickest. Musical shapes. This is a music and movement activity. Materials you will need. Masking tape and music. Make sure there is enough room for moving around. By using the masking tape, make the shapes on the floor, such as a circle, rectangle, triangle, and a square. Whatever shape you desire. First, introduce the shapes to the child by saying this is a circle and so on. Tell the child you will play the music and when the music stops, you will shout the name of the shape. For example, circle. And then you and the child will run to the circle and stand inside. Beat it again with a different shape. As the child gets familiar, the child can do it by his or herself and you can be in charge of the music. Once the child knows the game, you can introduce different movements such as hop like a rabbit, walk like a bear or waddle like a duck and so on. Matching colors by using clothespins. By using your facial gestures and hand actions, show the child how to use the pins. Taking the pin in your hand and say the pink pin matches with the pink color. The blue pin matches with the blue color until you use up all the pins. I have two pins of each colors. I specially put together this simple activity for my granddaughter. I know that she knows the shapes of the numbers but I want her now to associate shapes with quantity. Things you will need for this activity are three paper plates, any craft colors, I'm using watercolors, six clothes pins, always the right amount. Counting 
stars. As the child becomes more familiar with shapes and quantities, you can challenge the child. In this activity, the child has to count the stars in the plate and pin the same amount of clothespins. For this activity, I've arranged the stars in sequence. I love all these activities because you can involve the child during the preparation time, such as painting the plates and sticking the stars. My next and the final activity for part 1, I have purposely mixed the number of stars as I wanted to see if the child has fully consolidated the concept of shapes and quantities. Thank you for watching this video and for more advanced Montessori inspired math activities for toddlers, watch part 2 of this series. I'll be sharing with you how to make and present Montessori sandpaper numbers and more. If you have any comments then write in the comment box below and if you have liked this video then press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next month, be safe and healthy.